Hey Clever TV, I'm Bradley Stephen Perry, and you are in the basement of the set of Good Luck Charlie. In the episode, there's a dream sequence in which the Muppets appear to Teddy, and then there's a whole musical number, and it gets kind of crazy. It's really fun. Well, big premiere episode. Well, the Muppets are in it. What could be better, right? And we get to do a big whole musical sequence with the Muppets, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we get to move back in since the termites took down our house, and yeah. So it should be fun to see how everything progresses throughout the season. I've got to admit that it would be weird to build a new house and have this one just disappear. Maybe this is my dream house right here. It was awesome. They, they're so interesting in how they go about like putting a scene on. I don't know how much I should reveal of that just because, you know, I feel like the Muppets are such a... It was such a secret legend, um, but it was just amazing to see how they work, and um, they how, they have so much emotion, so much diversity to their emotion and their characters. It's really cool, and I'm a fan of Fozzie Bear, so that was my favorite. Gonzo, he was my favorite Muppet. He always he always will be my favorite Muppet. That Daredevil guy. I pretty much do a number with Miss Piggy. It is a dream come true because I don't think Amy Duncan has come across a bigger diva than herself in a long, long time. And so Miss Piggy definitely fit the bill. Right here. Miss Piggy, Mom, what are you doing here? We couldn't help but over here. And you can't do a musical number without moi. Or moi. No, that was probably one of my favorite Muppets moments. Amy and Miss Piggy vying for the spotlight was really cool. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm not in that scene, <laughs> but I was here watching when they shot it. Um, it's pretty amazing. The Muppets are uh, the Muppets are really uh, the, the Muppets are magical. I was actually not here the week the Muppets were here, but the Muppets were here. I'm so sad I missed it. To watch them perform was so cool because I mean they had the puppeteer. This guy's rolling around on a cart with a puppet in his hand, and he's saying he's saying the lines while operating a puppet. I can barely even say my lines as it is. Um, there's a new guy that comes in for Amy Duncan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought he was for me because he was so cute at the table read, but then I guess he's here for Teddy. Yes, there is a new love interest. It gets complicated with Teddy and Spencer and the new guy. We have a new uh, we have a new employee over at Bob's Bugs Be Gone who uh, is uh, learning the ropes and uh, putting Bob through uh, through his paces a little bit. The new guy works for my dad, and so that's especially awkward for Bob as well, having his daughter date an employee. Um, so there's definitely some awkwardness and uh, family drama that comes from that. Yeah, PJ um, was going to college, just going to college normally, and he sort of fell into cooking. He just discovered one day that he was really good at it. Um, and decided that that's really what he loves to do. He's moved out, he has his own place, but he's still at the house all the time. So his relationship with his siblings doesn't isn't affected by his move out. Mom, I'm hungry. Well, then have a peanut butter sandwich. I'm sick of those. Me too. Look, we're meeting with the contractor later on today, but until we find out how much we need to spend to fix the house, we are in money-saving mode. Yeah, that sounds fair. You destroy the house and we don't get to eat. It was not my fault. Right. right. Bob's just trying to hang on. He's, uh, you know, now that uh, now that Amy's not uh, um, working in the ER anymore, you know, the pressure falls on his shoulder to uh, to try and keep it try and keep it together and try and keep the family fed and you know keep them in the house that uh, they've just rebuilt. Tune into season four because there's so I, I think this is honestly our best season yet, and I think that because the characters really have interesting stories this season, not just mine. I mean, Teddy has college and boy drama, which has been very compelling, um, but also. You know, PJ in his apartment, there's um, a lot going on for every character. So I think, honestly, it's the best season we've had. We're a little older, but not necessarily wiser. And uh, that's always kind of funny. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Please tune in to season four of Good Luck Charlie. See you then. Big spoiler for this season. We have the Muppets. Sunday, April 28th. Right. This is your dream house right here. 
Be here for the Muppets debut on Good Luck Charlie, Sunday, April 28th at 7.30, 6.30 Central on Disney Channel.